Hello fellow book lovers, my name is Giselle and welcome to the Adventures of Jizz. In today's video I'm going to be showing you every book I read this year and the rating for each book. So let's get started. First up we have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The second book is Caraval by Stephanie Garber which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. Number three is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater and this I gave 4 out of 5 stars. Number four is The Princess and the Fangirl which I got from Nick Galley as an advanced reading copy and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. The fifth on the list is Tithe by Holly Black which I gave a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Next we have Four Dead Queens, I got a preview which was the first six chapters I believe and I gave the first six chapters the preview a 4 out of 5 stars. Next we have The Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Next we have Firebolt by Adrian Woods which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read Legend by Mary Lou and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The 10th book I read this year was Red Queen by Victoria Averyard and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. Sitting at number 11 we have Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass and I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Sitting at number 12 we have The Wicked King by Holly Black and I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. Next we have Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr and I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. Number 14 is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black which I gave 4.5 out of 5 stars. Number 15 is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Number 16 is Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco which I gave a well-deserved 5 out of 5 stars. Next up we have Red Rising by Pierce Brown and my original rating was 4.5 out of 5 stars but I have changed it to 4 out of 5 stars. And number 18 is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Next up we have another Lee Bardugo and that is King of Scars which I also gave a 5 out of 5 stars. Next up we have The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrienne Young and I gave that a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Next up we have one of my books from university that I had to read and that is Oryx and Craig by Margaret Atwood and I gave Oryx and Craig 5 out of 5 stars. Next I listened to the audiobooks of Harry Potter and for the first Harry Potter audiobook I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Next I read The Wicked Deep by Shia Earnshaw and I gave The Wicked Deep 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmerer and this was one of my favourite books of the year and I gave it an astounding 5 out of 5 stars. Next up I read another book which was one of my favourites of the year and that was Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson which also got a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Renegades by Marissa Meyer and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Next I listened to the audiobook of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Next I had a reread which was A Cause of Thorns and Roses. This is one of my favourite series and one of my favourite books and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> then I listened to the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and I gave it, surprise, a 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Next up Another audiobook that I was listening to whilst I was driving around and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> then another reread and that is A Court of Mist and Fury, one of my favourite books in the series and of course I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Next I listened to the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and I gave this audiobook 5 out of 5 stars. Then I listened to the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Next I read Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson and I gave Truly Devious 4.5 out of 5 stars. Then after months of reading I finally finished Nevernight and I gave Nevernight 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars but I am still contemplating the racing for this because I do think I'm sitting between a three and a half to four stars. Then I read an ebook The Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood for university and I gave Year of the Flood four out of five stars. Next I read the last book in that series and that was Mad Adam by Margaret Atwood and I gave Mad Adam five out of five stars. Then I read House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig and I gave this four out of five stars. 
Next, I binge read The Queen of Nothing and I gave Queen of Nothing by Holly Black 5 out of 5 stars. Next, I finished the brilliant The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson and this book I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Next up is a book that I started and finished on the same day and that is Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker. This I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Next up, I read Grave Mercies by Robin Lefevre and this I gave 4 out of 5 stars. Then I listened to the last audiobook in the Harry Potter series and that was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows which I gave a surprising 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Next I read Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass and this I gave 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Next up is a book that I literally finished reading an hour ago and that is of Silver and Shadow by Jennifer Grunker. It is an advanced reading copy and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. So there is my list of all the books I read this year and their ratings and if you have read any of these books this year and enjoyed them or have similar ratings as I do leave a comment down below and let me know and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and have a good day.